ex luce veritas, out of light, truth. I'd seen the same words on the fresco at Castel de Sons. The photograph was of an ancient clay tablet. Gainan had written on it. Someone, presumably Gainan, had taken the time to translate the inscription. At a glance, the inscription seemed to relate to the exploits of someone called the Sun King. The symbol on the tablets looked similar to the ones etched into the face of the Tabula Veritatis. I prized the map out from under the arm of the corpse. It looked like Ganon had scrawled some kind of last testament onto this map. My friends, I know that you will eventually find me, but by then it will be too late. I have decoded the tabula, and I know our destiny lies in paradise. The key to the power of God is in our hands. I die secure in the knowledge that you will now be able to complete my work. Tell my family that I died doing my duty, that I surrender my life gladly to the cause. In the light of the day, these words will fade, like our souls. But rest assured that when they do, their echoes will guide us to where we will meet once again. I'm not sure, but it looks like crafty old Ganon left a secret message in his testament. It had to be Ganon, in which case the body had been there for decades. There was a bullet hole in the side of his head. Just like us, he'd been trapped. He'd chosen suicide. Ex luce veritas. Out of light, truth. The circle of iron was set into an ornate frame that covered the oil lamp. When I held the map up to the flame, something started to change. The writing on the map started to react to the heat. Well, I'll be darned. What is it? At a guess, the locations on the map might match up with the ones he's marked on this photograph. If the letters match the ones on Ganon's translation, this must be the Mountain Kingdom. If this letter matched the one on Ganon's translation, this must be the location of the Sun City. If this letter matched the one on Ganon's translation, this must be the location of the Three Rivers region. If this letter is the same location as the one marked D on Ganon's translation, this must be Sunset Mountain. If the letter E matches the one on Ganon's translation, this must be the location of the Young Cities. I wondered if Ganon's notes on the photograph might help me decode the tabula. The symbol G Ip Ku meant ending enemy people. The symbol Zhu Ha was translated as the young cities. Ganon had marked this symbol with the letter E. I wonder if it relates to the secret markings on Ganon's map. If Ganon's translation is correct, the symbol La Ji Shi represents the sunset mountain. 
According to Gainan's translation, this symbol is Ai Zhu Lu, which means witnessing the start of Godhead. If Gainan's translation is correct, the symbol La Ha Shi represents the Sun City region. Gainan had marked this symbol in red with a letter A. The symbol Ku Is I was translated as People Travel Look. Du A Shi apparently means the Two River Region. Ganon had translated this symbol Du U as Four Victories. Apparently, the symbol Ib on Shi meant three kingdoms. If the translation is right, the symbol La On represents the Sun King. If the rest of the translation is anything to go by, sounds like he was quite the badass in his time. If Gainan's translation Gainan had marked this symbol in red. Gainan had translated this glyph, Ah Shu, as Blood River. That was the first row of symbols cracked. It was all starting to make sense.
So, these are directions. Begin at Sun City. Travel five days east to a river. Travel south six days. Hey, Nico! I've cracked it! Fantastic! The Tabula Veritatis. It's a set of directions. Take a look at this map. The inscription says to start here, at Sun City. Ganon hid the location in his map. It then says to travel five days east to a river, then turn south and travel six days through a desert to the source of four rivers. And what is that? I'm not sure, but it must be important, right? Right. Important enough for the Gnostics to try and keep it a secret for thousands of years. And guess what? I think I may have found a way out. You have? Look, while you were busy playing Ancient Scholar, I found this. What did it do? I'm not sure. It didn't open the door. Perhaps we're missing something. Must be. If Ganon died looking for a way out, there has to be more to it than just a hidden button. Then let's keep looking. The medallion fitted snugly into the socket. Whoa, would you take a look at that? The light from the medallion is illuminating these red figures. This could be our ticket out of here. If you're right, that explains why Ganon never got out of here. He didn't have the medallion. I gave the statue a push, and it turned anti-clockwise. In the lost language of medieval mechanisms, that noise was the sound of disappointment, unfulfilled dreams, and sadness. Nothing had happened. I gave the statue another shove. That sounded like something important happened. The stone door had sealed us. No way.
I gave the statue another shove. That sounded like something important happened. Is that the door? Thank God! I was getting worried we'd be trapped here, just the two of us forever! There could have been worse ways of being trapped forever. It is the door! Come on, Georges! I needed to grab the medallion before we left. It was way too useful to leave behind. Nico and I had the tabula veritatis at last. Now all we needed to do was to find Eva and rescue Marquez. And make our getaway.